Hello and welcome back to the Railwaymen. Now I must I must say before we start this episode, it's going to be a bit of a long one, longer one than the last one. So we tend to do two games against West Ham and Doncaster. Uh, I have injured my arm. My eye is bad. Both my legs hurt. <laughs> I'm in the wars a bit. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Let's show you what we've done. As you can see, it's not bad. Uh, after Burton, MK Dons, 2-1, Vodka Brace. He's been scoring quite a few this season. Then James Ellis got our, uh, put us in front after seven minutes against Peterborough. And you think, oh, yes, but they equalised. And, oh, well, uh, 6,000 people. Uh, then, one all against Northampton. Uh, Dacey, but DJ Buffonge. I need to sign this guy just for the name. My word, he, he plays for United. DJ Buffonge. That is that. Uh, that can't be a real name. Uh, and then we beat them on penalties, thankfully. Home against Grimsby. Jamie Wrench, 1 0. Pretty standard. 2 0 away at Plymouth. This was a really good result. Vodka and Postiga. Then we kind of. Kind of FM'd Portsmouth a bit. They kind of dominated the game. We scored two goals in four minutes in the second half. Lee Evans got a consolation late on. Held on. And we're top of the league. We've only dropped two points all season. So they would play West Ham. And then probably Doncaster. Doncaster third in the league. They're probably the best team we're gonna come up we've come up against so far. Apart from West Ham, obviously. But they're in the cup, so. Yeah. Uh we're we're gonna go cautious. We're gonna go unchanged. Uh, if you actually, we'll drop Mametti to the bench. Uh, if you see me wincing, it's because I've I've really damaged the back of my calf. Like I don't know what I've done. It was a. Uh, I'm recording this where just day after the Man United two 0 defeat, which was very good, but it's it's <laughs> a lot of walking hit me hard. Uh, they're playing the kids. I just realised they played the kids. Gilf! Oh, it's Gilf! He's going to score a free kick against us, isn't he? Oh, no. Adams, who's 29, is decent. You play for him in real life. Hoffenheim. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, but yeah, a lot of youngsters. Doesn't mean that we'll win, but... Never beaten West Ham. We've lost to them all other times we've played them in pre-season. But, this is a good opportunity to beat them for the first ever time. Uh, they're not amazing. And we'll see what we can do. Uh, we've been playing well, obviously. Vodka in behind. Ooh, what a save by Bizzo. Or Bizzo. I, d I don't know where he's from. One of the two. Ellis ball in. Ah, uh, poor ball. Ooh, okay. We'll encourage. They're quite tired as well, which, again, is a positive. I reckon we could cause an upset here. Just got to keep playing. Just got to keep playing. And then hopefully get, like, a Man City away. Or at home. Home would be good. As it's the League Cup, not the FA Cup. That would probably benefit us a bit more. Uh, we'll go back to the keeper. We regroup nicely. Not too aggressive in our pressing, but equally not not pressing. Uh... Oh no, Tony Miller. He's good, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's quite good. We're gonna oh, actually we're gonna we're gonna attack them. Why not? And we'll we'll demand more. From kickoff, there is a highlight. Can we make it go our way? Get to play, you know, six lonies in this game, which is uh, fantastic. I didn't even realise we had too many lonies. Oh, they're going to score again. Ooh, okay. This Miller guy's decent. This Miller guy's decent. Uh, Tony Miller. Causing us some problems. Uh, we're going to go back to cautious. I reckon because they are they're having the better of the game. So if we sort of play 
on the counter. Uh, it, it would be nice to get a victory here, but to be fair, away at the London Stadium, I was pretty, I was pretty excited because, yeah, they have the biggest stadium of all the teams in the competition at this stage. Oh, good block. Which, from a money point of view, is obviously that's big. That's big, you know. Playing in a sixty thousand capacity stadium, at least. How much state? How much is the capacity at? How much capacity at? Uh, 66,000, there you go. That's massive, that's... I mean, that's bit. That's bigger than... That's... Is it the second biggest stadium in the Premier League behind Old Trafford? Uh, very easy way to check. Here we just go. Uh, stadiums, stadiums, there it is. Third biggest, Tottenham Hotspur is now the biggest. Then Old Trafford... Then London Stadium, so that's good. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, 77,000. That's quite impressive. Uh, unlucky. We're obviously not expected to win against uh, West Ham. We're going to take off Vodka because he's too important to uh, not rest. And Postiga can come on. That's the, that, I think that, yeah, that, that's the problem with having sort of Postiga. And vodka as both lone strikers. Uh, don't get me wrong, we need both of them. I'm adamant of the fact that we need both of them. Uh, West Ham gonna get a second here, possibly. They've been good. They've been good. I know. I know it's the kids, but equally, you know, they're the type of players we'd be delighted to take on loan. You know. Uh, So even to be, you know, competing with them, that's decent. Postiga in behind. Big chance. And have a good save by the keeper. He's really been excellent. Like, you know, West Ham, fancy, fancy loading him to us. How good is he? He's very good. Okay, he's very good. Dutch international... So it is Bizzo. Not a great performance. Can we defend the corner? We have enough players back. Oh, VA VAR. Oh. Oh, penalty. Yeah, no suspense really there, was there? Gilfi Scores. Obviously. The Icelander. How many caps now? 99, one away from 100. Uh, I swear he's in the 70s. Surely he's in the 70s by now. Uh, frustrate, Frustrating to consider silly penalty. It felt like we had like 10 players all around them. And we kind of... Yeah. Guilfrey Sigurdsson. Oh... Let's be real, he's too good to be playing for the for their backup side. Let's get Mametti on. Let's let's get James Waite on. Let's give a bit of a rest to Ellis. He deserves ten minutes off. Uh maybe should have given a rest to another midfielder, because they're getting quite tired. Uh understandably, it's the it's the it's the workroom of the team. Sigurdsson, late free kick. Lays it off. Sure. Good block. Get out to him. Well held, Whitley. There we go. Uh, unfortunate defeat to West Ham. I, I said we'll do Doncaster. I'm a man of my word, although I am nervous. Because... Uh, it's one we really need to win, and after losing our first game of the season here, no shame in that. Uh, West Brom. Yeah. You know, fair enough. I'll take a 2 0 defeat at West Ham. What was the attendance? 23,000, not bad. Oh, hefty bit of money there. Uh, good 
300k. Uh, even more than that, 350. Uh, I'll take that. Anyway, we'll come back with Doncaster. Obviously, uh, if we go overview, they finished third, in fact, so behind Coventry. Hopefully, we can beat Graham Wesley's side and extend our lead at the top of the table. Right, okay. Donny. Away from home, at the keep moat. I assume they still play at the keep moat, right? Right? Yeah, of course they still play at the keep moat. Why would they move away? Uh, we're going to go positive. That's the team we're going for. Ometi comes back in. We love a bit of Ometi, our Albanian king. Uh, we do actually have three foreigners. In this. Uh, let's not count Vasilev because he's American. So he's not really... Has he ever even played in America, by the way? No, he, he played for Villa. So, you know, M has Mometi ever played abroad? No, no. No, he hasn't. Uh, Ellis hasn't. Vodka? Surely Vodka. Yeah, Vodka's our only foreigner. <laughs> Wait. He scored 12 goals in the Polish league. Like, oh, he's he was such a good signing. A lot of people motivated for this one. Come on. Out the keep mode. Need a win. Need a win really badly as well. Uh, we'll... Switch it back to the lead table when we get an opportunity. Uh, Mometi, early on. Worst time to concede, best time to score. Possibly. You can score too early, though. It can happen. Uh, but a goal is a goal, after all. Seaman. What's funny about that? Uh, story. Ambitious ball. Oh, that looked a bit dodgy. I was worried there. Uh, Whitley isn't the most, you know... If it was Manuel Neuer, I'd be... Yeah, he'll be fine. Vodka. Oh, why have you tried to chip him? Oh. You need a powerful shot there. Not a... Not a... Not a... Not a, not a light shot. Come on. What are you? Again, we're still struggling to have shots. So you kind of got to take that vodka one. Uh, sorry, there are so many short puns that can be made. Yeovil are losing. Or drawing. I think they're drawing. Uh, James with a free kick. Past the post. I'm going to go cautious. And show some passion. Because we're really struggling in this episode. Shouldn't be struggling in Doncaster. Uh, Coventry up to sec Coventry. And Don Coventry, Doncaster and Dickot Town. You know, the three promoted teams all in... Well, two in the automatics and one in the playoff. That's, you know... Bit contradiction. Contradiction. <laughs> I'm contradicting myself there. Uh, so I'm surprised they took it so well because <sighs> we've only we've only had one chance, but it was a clear cut one. They're really not create. They've had six long shots, Doncaster. But they're going to score here from a corner. We're still top of the league. We're still top of the league. We're not. Doncaster are. Yes, it's in. We're going to go back attacking because evidently it works. Still only had one shot, but hey. Brian with a... Oh, Brian to James. James off the bar. Cleared away. Oh, Lord. Back on top of the league. James with a free kick. Easy. Easy. Go defensive. 
We're being dominated, out utterly dominated by Doncaster. But you know, if these the, these the, these are the ones where you take a point. Ninety nine away fans, that's tragic. Uh, we're still a very small club. Vasilev's picked up a knock. Now we don't want to bring on the mattress man. Wait can come on, even though it's not his natural position. Tighten up. Can we get the points? Looks like we can. Ah, it's not perfect, but we'll take it. Unless. Unless, wait. Vodka! Offside! No! I thought it might have been. I thought. Oh, we've had a goal ruled out in the last second. I'm happy with that. Oh, he's he's not happy. Vodka's not happy. He holds himself with higher standards. Uh Oh, I kind of want to go two months into the future. So uh, late September isn't enough uh, for the Forest game, and Forest aren't doing that well. They're down in ninth. Uh, Yeovil. I still think Yeovil's too early as well. FA Cup. Nah. I want to do so. Oh, we'll do. We'll do Sunderland and possibly the FA Cup first round. But if not, Sunderland and Scunthorpe. Okay, that's the plan. We're gonna go to until there. Hopefully that all goes well. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Cheerio. Come on. Come on, Diddy. Still unbeaten in the league.